Podcast 70. We made it to the 70s. We, we're in the 70s now, baby. We're, Let's get it. We're getting old. That's what I'm saying. Like we're this is like 100. this is like retirement numbers. You know? I hope we retire before 70. <laughs> to be honest, I really hope we retire before 70. What's your retirement goal for your age? 28. 28. There's a two I year. mean, that's my goal. Next year? I could put a goal on it. Right. I'm not, I don't share our financials on the channel, but I don't think we're there yet. Yeah, but if we get to that, <laughs> that's my goal. That's the goal? Yeah. Uh, speaking of goals, um, we like being loved, right? Always. I would say so. Yeah. Um, and we don't like being hated. That's also true. So I'm going to give you a top five list to start this podcast. Oh, top five. Are you ready five. for it? Sure. Okay. Guess the top five most hated countries in the world. Well, if USA isn't number one, I don't know what's wrong with this list. USA is on the list, Brian, but it's not number one. What is? It's number two. Is Russia number one? Russia is number three. So you got United States at two. You got Russia at three. What other countries do people just hate? I'm assuming North Korea. North Korea is number four. What? Do I hear Do I hear some sweeps? What country <laughs> is more hated than North Korea, USA, and Russia? I feel that's pretty- That's insane. Via World Population Review, by the way. I want to say that because that's important. Is it China? This isn't our list. Is it China? China is number one. All right. Now, listen, I think it's just because there's a lot of them. When there's a lot, a of, lot people, of people when in there's China, a lot of people, I think just people have some hate for it. I guess that's true. There's a lot of people to hate, a lot of people to like, a lot of people to hate, there's a lot of people to love, a lot of people to love. Hey, um, we're not haters. We need I don't hate. Five? I don't hate any of these countries besides I, maybe North yeah. Korea. <laughs> what? <laughs> besides maybe North Korea. <laughs> yeah. You need number five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number five. Oh gosh, number five. I'm trying to think. It's got to be a big country. It can't be. Okay, those are like the top four biggest countries. The think next like biggest is. Current times, you know? Current times. 2024. This is a this year list. Israel. Israel's number five. Really? You've completed the sweep. That was a sweep. He baby. did it. He did all five. I think a lot of people hate Liz. Is, I think a lot of people hate Israel, but I think a lot of people love Israel. Yeah. I, Isn't it? I don't have any background. I'm not uh, going to give a take on it. I don't. I have no background on it. I have it. no opinion. I have no opinion here. Yeah. I love all countries, all people. I'm a peacemaker. Everybody. <laughs> I love every, everybody. Love everybody. That's our motto here. Somebody hit somebody. Somebody hit somebody. <laughs> oh, what a start. All right. Cool. Yeah. Let's tra- transition out of that one, Brian. Let's see how you do. All right, well, this is this is becoming a hateful podcast. Okay, because we, I have something about hate. We too. just hate everyone. Yeah. Everything's hated. Uh, if, first of all, if you guys didn't know, we prep. We've never talked about like how we do the podcast before. Oh, yeah. let's, let's we shed prep some information. We prep before the podcast, and we prep like either games or topics that we want to talk about. I prep my whole list. Zach preps his whole list. So I have no idea what Zach's gonna say. Zach has no idea what I'm gonna say. That's why we keep it like real with you guys. Yeah, it's a lot of variety. It's probably a little all over the place, but people enjoy it. It's so all over the place. <laughs> yeah, but it's maybe we'll add more structure eventually. We probably should in some sort of way. We'll categorize and group. Yeah, in we probably some sort of way. But you know what? I like staying authentic to ourselves. This is how our conversations go in person. Yeah, so this is the way right. I like to do it. I have another hate topic. So let's talk about hate. Let's, let's continue the hate, hate train. I hate everything. Even though I just said I love yeah, everyone. Didn't you just I said say... everybody love everybody. And I said I hate everything. All right. Which human is more hated based on stats? Let's hear it. So this is via watch data. Shout out watch data. They gave us a lot of topics here. A lot of things to go based on. Information haven. Logan Paul or Kim Kardashian? Oh. Who's hated more? I think... Kim Kardashian's probably hated more because people think she's talentless. Like she's just yeah. famous for being famous. But a lot of the girls like Kim Kardashian. A lot of the girls like Kim and K. A lot of the guys also like. No, yeah. let's let's. I'm gonna sw- no no. no you're fooling like me. Logan Paul. I don't think. I said Kim K. Oh, you. you I think, think P- I think people think she's attractive and therefore they like her. So what's like, your, your answer? I'm gonna switch it up, but then I'm gonna reverse psychology back to Kim K. So you think Kim K is more hi- more hated? More hated, Kim Kardashian. You're incorrect. Oh, Logan Paul is hated by thirty percent of people. Kim K twenty percent of people. I want hate to. Her. I should have went with the gut. I don't know what your thought process was there. I just you're think, just gambling with these now. No, because I think I, whatever I think's right, I usually bet the opposite, which is gambling. It's not gambling. It's smart because I I, well, it didn't work there. Okay, well, normally it somewhat works. It works fifty percent of the time, which is gambling. I guess uh, now you're now you're talking. Joe Biden or Elon Musk. Biden or Musk? Who's hated more? Joe Biden's president. That's, yeah, good he's job. A, he's an old fella. There you go. Um, well, half the country probably hates him, right? I like That's the thought process. pretty fair. And then Elon Musk, people who hate Tesla, 
and going to space. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to say Joe Biden. How do you pronounce his last name? Biden. Biden? Biden. Biden? I, you know I do this with my Bs. Biden. Button. Biden. Biden. You're correct. Joe Biden is hated by 46% of the population. Elon Musk is hated by 33% of people. How do you say it? Biden? Biden. 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 It's not that different. <laughs> okay. You, you just said it weird before. Right. Kanye West or 6 9 Takashi 6 9 Takashi 6 9 Who hates Takashi 6 9 What's going on there? No one hates. What's he done? 6 9 6 9 Everyone hates 6 9 What? He racketeered a little bit. He got in trouble <laughs> and he went to jail. <laughs> he, he did served like a time. lot of a lot of bad things. He ratted a lot of people but out. There's a lot of different things like okay. into that. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know. Uh, for that reason, I'm going to go 6 9 You're right. <laughs> 6 9 is hated by 55% of people. Kanye West 50% of people. Yeah. High percentages. Yeah, I got another one for you. Let's keep let's let's keep the train rolling of hate. Donald Trump or Vladimir Putin? Now we got two world leaders here. Yeah, again, I think half the country probably hates Trump. Again, I like the thought process yeah. you're going down. So it's around like that. But then, if you're from America, is this worldwide? You think it probably has to be since they're putting Putin in. Okay. Yes, you're right. But I didn't know if this is like USA's opinion of worldwide figures. Oh, no, it's you know? just, I think it's just all people. Uh, I'm going to say Vladimir Putin. He's yeah. evil. Trump Trump is evil to some people, but like Putin's like actually evil. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not wrong. You're correct. Vladimir Putin's hated by 93.6% of people. Trump is hated by 673 Evil. But those like 43% of people or whatever the math is, like love Trump. Yeah. Travis Scott or Ellen DeGeneres? Travis Scott had this whole thing with the concerts and the tours and people were I mad. I like how you're putting that together. Oh. I, I like the thought I piece process. Things to, I piece some things together sometimes. I like it. But Ellen DeGeneres, what has she done? She gives away like free sweatshirts and underwear. Did you hear the whole drama with her a while ago? No. Oh, oh. was she mean to her workers or yeah, something? apparently. Oh, Ellen. <laughs> Be nice to your workers. No, I'm saying it's Ellen. Oh, you're saying it's Ellen. Hey, you're correct. 28% of people hate her. Travis Scott, 24% of people hate her. Hate him. You know, such a beloved figure. And then she just, you know. She really messed up there. Stories come out. Mark Zuckerberg or Bill Gates? People hate Mark Zuckerberg. People hate both these guys. People People hate everybody on these lists. Anybody who's... Apparently. People hate people who are rich. And famous, yeah. Rich and famous. People probably hate us. Probably. Hopefully not as much as these people, but we'll see. Zucker Gates. I'm going to say Zuckerberg. I think a lot of people, especially Dave Portnoy, hate him. You're correct. Yeah, Dave Portnoy doesn't like being compared to Zuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 70% of people hate Mark Zuckerberg. 40.5% of people hate Bill Gates. And that's all the hate. That's all the hate. Can we move on that's from hating we can people? Move, we can move on from the hate. Let's move on from the hate. I don't I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Do you want to move to love? Yes, Should I move do. To love? I would all love right. to move to love. I would love to move to love. Love let's, and hate. This is the love with, and hate podcast. Let's go with fan bases. All right? So we got. I, I got a list of fan bases Ooh. here. And you're, what you're going to tell me is <laughs> you're going to try and guess the name of the fan base. Guess the name of the fan base. Yes. Like Beyonce, so I'm going to tell you. Yes, nest. I'm going I'm to. Whatever it's called. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, let's do this, it. This will be fun. <laughs> All right. Guess the name of these fan bases. Justin Bieber. Oh, they're the. Oh, I feel like I remember this. They're the. Oh, the Believers. The Believers. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you feel really good about Are it. Are you a Believer? Uh, no. I don't. I'm not, I'm not a, a. I'm not a non-believer. I'm not a. I'm Believe. not an unbeliever. I'm not a believer hater. Non-believer. Yeah, whatever. No, but I'm not. Okay. Lady Gaga. <sighs> I'm just going to probably make something up here. Uh, I, uh, the, the Gagas. No. <laughs> the Goo Goos. You know, that's the route I would have went in my head. Yeah. Um, she, had top, like, mm. she had like an album or a song that came out. Poker Faces? No. You want me to tell you? The Gagas. It's not the Gagas. The Gagas. Ta- the lady tigers no <laughs> the little monsters the little monsters i could have kept guessing for like 30 minutes i don't think i would have got it that's what monsters make <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's what i'm going with what about taylor swift oh that one's just easy you know this one i would hope so do you yeah we okay. almost called the makeshift project fan base what was it Makeshift the shifties the shifties yeah. stupid name by in my opinion the swifties Tiago came up with that one I don't like it you didn't you didn't I don't like, like it. it yes it is the swifties yeah. and that's the most are you a swifty po- I'm not a swifty are you a little monster I'm not a little well more of a monster mm, mm. you're a big monster I don't think I'm any of those yeah I'm, fa- not, really I'm not a either. fan of any of those I don't think really not me either Beyonce 
Oh. Now let's see if you remember. We talked about this a while ago. We did speak it's about the it. bees something. I don't. I guess the bees nest. I think. <gasps> I know it. It's the beehive. <laughs> it's the beehive. I thought you were going to go down the bad route again. It's the beehive. I was worried for you. Are you in the second. beehive? I'm not in the beehive. Me either. Just not. But I don't hate the beehive either. What about Rihanna? Oh, they're mm, the Fendi's. Oh, that's Fendi's. Fenty is the name Fenty's. of her clothing fashion. Oh, it's brand. Fenty. I thought that, it was Fendi. I think it's Fenty. I don't know. I won't buy. Fendi's a, a brand. Fendi? Maybe it's Fendi. Feel like we it's look so Fendi. <laughs> uneducated sometimes. Um, <laughs> who are we doing? Rihanna? Rihanna. The Riri's? Not the Riri's. The Rihanna? You know what? I would prefer. The Nanas. No. Hmm. <laughs> I would prefer the Riri's. I feel like that's a better name. I actually it's, have no idea. It's her name and then another word. The Rihanna Gang. No. Close. Club. Very. Squad. No. Rihanna. What's a color? Rihanna Red. No. Rihanna Blue. No. Rihanna. Uh, almost blue. Darker. Purple. No. In, in, in between. Maroon. No, not maroon. Rihanna. I'm colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Rihanna Navy. Rihanna Navy. That's a stupid name. It is a stupid name. You know what? I expected a little bit better from her. I did too. Ariana Grande. This name's just the stupid. cats. No, not the cats. Even though it would make sense. She kind of reminds us of a cat. Well, her name was Cat and her yes, Disney exactly. show. Or we associated. That's yeah. our generation. The, I, it no. has to do with her name again. Ariana. It rhymes. Ari, A- Ari, Ari, the Aries. Oh, the close. Ariels. So close. Ari, Aries. Arianators. Arianators. That is so. That's the <laughs> dumbest one. That's the dumbest one. It's oh really God. bad. It's really bad. Arianators. The Arianators. <laughs> what are we doing here? I don't know. It's really bad. She's worth like millions of dollars. You couldn't come up with a better name. <laughs> I don't think she Jesus. could. Ed Sheeran. Ooh, the redheads. Not the redheads. Wouldn't that be fantastic? The gingers. Not the gingers. I, the, the, you know what? You associate with the hair. The gingies. I would relate more to his name. Mm. The Eds. Not the Eds. The, the Ed, Eddies. The no. Sheerans. Ed, Ed, and Eddies. I'm just guessing their names. <laughs> the she- Sheer. The Shears. Sheer. Shearers. Sheer. Sheer up. Sheery. Sheerians. Sheerios. Sheerios. They're the Sheerios. I guess like Cheerios, but Sheerios. I wonder if he likes Cheerios. That's why he picked it. I don't know. Does the artist pick this or does the fans pick this? I think the artist. I think I think it's like a fan. I and think then, it's the fan. And fan. then they accept the name of the fan base. Mm. So it's the like Cheerios. proposed to them. The Cheerios. Um, this one's fun. Tate McRae. Oh, the... Does that have to do with hockey? I know mm. she's into hockey. I don't think it has the to The goalies? Do no, not the goalies. The Tatesters. Uh, it's ta- I would lean on Tate. Tatey McFly. Tater... <laughs> Tater tots. Tater tots. Really? It's the tater tots. That's actually a really good one. That's my favorite one so far. I love Out that. Out of all one. the ones we just did Tame so McCray, far, you're that's killing it. That's a good She's one. I like it. that she a lot. She knows what to do. Nicki Minaj. The uh, the Mean Girls. No, not the, the Nicki Minaj. No, come on, come the on, Nicki Minaj. No. <laughs> the Nick. The isn't it like something no. mean and She's angry? Not like the the no, not at the all. Bad, it's the opposite of that. The nice girls. No, what does she call herself? Queen. No. No. What does she call herself? She's like a doll. She's a uh, the pink, it's something pink. pink. It's like pink hair she has, and they're she's the pinky they're doll. pretty. They're pretty, the, but the brat dolls, <laughs> babies. <laughs> she's the, the Barb's Barbies. Oh, I went brats. Didn't you I know? Brats. Yeah, no, brats girls really rock. Is that uh, her song? Found a taken hand. No, it's okay. the commercial That's, back in the day. We can, we can move on. <laughs> Katy Perry, the Roars. No, this one you got to go animals. Oh yeah, the tigers. No, not the tigers. The lions. Use their names. The you Katie, have to use their the names. cats. The Katie cats. The Katie cats. That's kind of good. <laughs> you have to kinda use good. their name. I didn't know the, all of them had their names in it. Most of them do, actually. Like mm. all of them do, besides Lady Gaga. Is there another one? That's it. That's all I got. <sighs> wow. That that t- I feel like that took a lot out of you. It did. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> We're just saying oh a lot of God. words across the board here. Jesus. Oh, it's okay. You'll be okay. This is Adam Fox. He's the new addition. He's been on the last two podcasts. <laughs> I still think you need to move it like back more, like not in front of the laptop. Oh, this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right. See how I have mine like? This is their new home now. Back here. That's how we do it. I think we need more of these. Um, okay. Sorry. Sidetrack. You get distracted easily. Yeah, I know, because I think about a lot of different things, yeah. which is, brings me to my next topic. Okay. You like that? Yes, I like that. How often do humans think about these things? Mm. So this is based on a weekly basis. I'm a thinker. I think a lot. You do think a lot. How many times do people think about money? 
Oh, money. Per week. Money. Seven days a week. How many times? Can you go more? <laughs> what? <laughs> How many times? <laughs> How many times? In that span. In that okay, span. Okay, in so span. I could go more than one, one day. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's okay. more than one time a day. At least 20 times a week. 20 times a week. 20 times a week? I'm going to 20 times. How many three times, times do you like think you talk about it? You think about I it. I think about it? I feel like I think about it often. We have a business. Yeah. That's what we do. I talk. I think about money all the time. Oh, it's definitely way higher. I'm changing my answer. Yeah, it is. I was trying to help yeah. you out there. 120. Uh, all right, you're closer. Money, 204 times per week. Well, that, think, that comes out to 29 times a day. Well, think about it. You're paying for stuff often. If you see money, you think of money. It's, yeah. it's the whole the package. It makes the world go round. It makes the world go round. That's a fact and a fact. Fact and a half. Wanting to be famous. Ooh. Well, from the creator side, I think a lot of people think about it more often. I think about money way more than fame. Yeah. I'd rather have money than fame. Okay. Right? I guess so, yeah. I mean, I think so. 100%. I don't know, but there's like a whole legacy part. Yeah, but then you have no That's money. It's like athletes go through like the whole legacy conversation. But then you have no money? Well, I don't know. I don't right. know. How many times do you think about money? Or how what? many times do you think about fame? This is the whole debate on like the PGA Tour versus Live Golf. It's like, would you rather have the money and go play for Saudi Arabia? Mm-hmm. Or would you rather be on the PGA Tour and play for legacy? How many times do people think about being famous? <laughs> Let's go. I think it's. I think a lot of people dream. 20 mm-hmm. times a week. This one, I'll go 20. You're incorrect. 69 times per week. That's wow. 10 times a day about. Nice. 69. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Uh, what about whether aliens exist? Oh, maybe twice. I think about it a lot. Do you? Yeah. It's, it's like, like the Roman, Roman Empire. Empire. Yeah, yeah, literally. Whoa, whoa. That was weird. That was weird. Uh, what'd you say? Two times. Two times? 43 times per week on average. Why? That's five times a day. Out. It like every, every time Wait, someone looks that's at... That's six times a day about. Is that like every single time someone looks at the sky? They're just thinking about it? I don't know. Well, I've been I don't watching an of, alien show recently, so I, I think about it way more often. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I could take him in a fight. Oh. I put up the air quotes. Uh, I think... I the, think this is guy You're ready for my take here? Yes. The shorter you are, the more you think about it. I honestly agree. Yeah. Well, that, I, I don't... Because I don't think about it often. I don't either. I'm Honestly, that's an honest thing. <laughs> I think the shorter you are, the more you think about it. So assuming average height at around 5'9", we're going to go with 10 times a week. 36 times per week. Oh, see, that's not... Who's doing that? Five times a day. That's like much. an alpha mentality. Know, like, that's like, like Napoleon. That's like, yeah. You're just trying to <laughs> be right, more Napoleon. powerful. Yeah. Relax, buddy. Calm down there. Uh, what about playing video games? Oh, This one I think is higher. I play video games... Probably every day, at least for like 30, 20 minutes. And if I'm not playing, I walk past my living room and I see someone playing it because my roommates play. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, let's go 58 times. 30 times per week on average. That's four times a day. Four times a day. Which I feel like is pretty accurate. Yeah, I'm probably lower, but I could see people who would be more. What about outer space? Well, this one, I feel like anytime you look at the sky, this is like the alien thing. Yeah, kind of. I feel like if I look at the sky, I think about the weather. It's got to be like the uh, night sky, though. Night sky. So I'm going to say not that often. Let's go. No, but then you think like, wow, the sun is there. I wonder where that is. Does that count? (laughs) That's one. You're like, how is that there? Um, (laughs) So let's go 12. I'm going to seven times per week. So once a day. Once a day. That's fair. When the night comes around. Pretty close. When the night. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I got a new laptop, guys. <laughs> if you guys wanted to know. <laughs> You're excited. You know what was great about this is it's that really I nice. went to go buy it and I bought it for Brian, but with yeah. our money. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it felt like I was giving him a gift and I had to hold on to it for like four days before I brought yeah. it down here. Should have wrapped it. I was really excited for it. No, I shouldn't have. Yeah. I actually thought about it. I'm giving it to you on the podcast, but you knew what it was. Oh, well, it would have been fun. Yeah. But you would have had to pretend what like, wow, fun. oh, I'm so excited. I'm so shocked. I would have been excited. I was excited when I saw it. It's a nice laptop. It is a nice laptop. The black. You know, black ever laptop. since I bought that one for you with my money, our <laughs> money, um, I've looked at my laptop and I'm like, this thing's still hanging in there. It is. This is from 2015. You got to upgrade soon. No, yeah, we do. But my desktop at home is, is nicer. I got the M1 chip and everything. Yeah, that's the nice stuff. Okay. Um, did it take you a long time to learn about that laptop? How to use it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, did it? No, it didn't. It didn't? And this is a nice transition, I'm assuming. This is a great transition. Which of these things is harder to learn based on stats? Okay, so let's do I'm going to read it. you two things. You're going to tell me which one's harder to learn. Let's do it. A second language or beatboxing? That's, I don't even know what to... 
Give me a beat. Give me a beat. <laughs> You're pretty good at it. It's in the throat. Uh, which one's harder to learn? Definitely. I feel like this is a trick question. I'm just going to go with what my logical answer is for all of these. I'm going to say learning a new language. Learning a new language is harder. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. No, wait, it's not harder. I lied to you. <laughs> beatboxing is harder. 40% of people can learn how to beatbox. 43% have learned a new language. That's impressive. Yeah. Less than half. You ready for this one? I'm so ready. Cracking an egg with one hand or saving money? I So my answer is saving money, but I want to get into the egg cracking. Okay. I think I could do it. Can you? I was going to say- I think I can learn it. We should have brought- an egg. I thought about bringing an egg down here and you cracking it into a bowl with one hand. I feel like I'm, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do it the first try. But give me like twenty tries. I think I could get it the twentieth try. My roommate does it consistently. Yeah, he's Matt. insane, Matt. Yes, he just. What was the other one? <laughs> <laughs> saving money. Saving money is definitely harder. Less people cracking an egg with one hand is more difficult. I don't it's believe tougher. Twenty eight percent of people and saving money is thirty percent. So thirty percent of people know how to save money. Yeah. And 70% don't. That's sad. <laughs> it's really sad. Juggling or shuffling cards. Now I'm a good so shuffler. So both of them are pretty easy. We you know would, how to do both. One, both of us know how to do both. One would think. Right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I know how to juggle. Remember the napkins? Let me get them. You're going to juggle that bobblehead? Oh! 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 Adam! 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 <laughs> Did you break your laptop too while you're at it? Your no. new laptop no. that you just Adam! Had. <laughs> oh no. His stick broke it. I'm gonna super glue him. <laughs> He's not gonna bobble anymore. Yeah, he will. It's it's on this. Oh, uh, okay. So it'll he'll be fine. Uh, oh god. Adam. I'm so sorry. <laughs> His stick broke in everything. I know. <laughs> that was that was a phenomenal moment, though. <laughs> I knew. I was like, I, if we it's check the it. replay, if we check the replay, I think I literally said, I said, you're going to juggle with, because I know those ones are fragile. Damn it. I didn't know how fragile. These are good, though. <laughs> These are, well, I don't know. The Seisenberg hat is, it's fell off. Oh, oh man. That was awesome. <laughs> For the audio listeners, I just juggled our little <laughs> bobbleheads and one of Adam Fox arranger's defenseman just broke his head snap. I think something hit me, but stick I, fell I don't know what hit me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what were we talking about? Jugg What's harder, juggling or shuffling cards? <laughs> I'm going to say juggling's harder. <laughs> juggling is easier. Shuffling <laughs> cards, learning how to shuffle cards is harder. Damn it. This that is uh, this is to learn, by the way. Yes, okay. to learn. Um, shuffling cards, 22%. Juggling, 24% of okay. people can learn. Oh, here it is. This is what flew at me. <laughs> there it is. It's the bottom of a stick. That's it. That's it. I'm moving. Okay. There's nothing Do you have else. Another one or no? Not on that one. No. Okay. <laughs> that was scary, frightening. Right. Poor Adam. Oh, he's standing pretty well right I, now. Yeah, I know. I just have to glue it. He'll, He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Okay. He'll be fine. Um, let's th let's think about uh, <laughs> what's painful because Adam just snapped his head off. <laughs> head off. It sounds like it's pretty painful. Um, what is more painful to a human based on stats? Okay. Chopping your head off. Chopping. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Getting kicked in the nuts, full force, or childbirth. We talked about this on the last podcast. Did we brought we? it up. Well I, well, I brought it up and okay. you've integrated now. Yes, yes. Full uh, force. I, know, I understand full force, but I'm going to say it's childbirth out of respect for the woman. I really don't want to experience either of those. It's like putting a ping pong ball through a straw. Whoa. <laughs> That's a crazy analogy. I don't oh know. That's, that's, I don't know if that's true. I heard. I don't know. That's not possible. That's not, exactly. <laughs> that's that's, that's why it's called the miracle that's why of it's life. Called the miracle of life. Uh, you're correct. Childbirth is 57 on the DOL scale. Kicked in the nuts is 50 on the DOL yeah. scale. Oh yeah, that's like really close. Yeah, I know. But the, but, but of, the right? birth, I feel like, is a longer duration. Yeah, definitely. You know? Getting punched in the face or starvation. Is this a? Are you? Is this a jab at me? Are you jabbing at no. me? No. Because I got punched in the face. You like bringing that yeah. up, though, don't I you? I do like bringing it it's up. It's your claim to fame. Yeah, it's my claim to fame. <laughs> you got me. Uh, uh, Where's some... the guy that got punched in the yeah. face? <laughs> That's what I get asked when I get noticed. Oh, yeah? No. <laughs> what was the other one? Or uh, starvation. Starvation? Uh, I've been punched in the face. 
So I'm going to say starvation. It's it's more. Being punched in the face didn't hurt that bad. All right. You're incorrect. Punch in the face is 20 on the DOL scale. Starvation is 14 DOL. Oh, I'd rather get punched in the face than be hungry. <laughs> me, <laughs> me too, I guess. A hot iron to skin or stung by a stingray? A hot iron. You could literally cook a frozen waffle with I didn't iron. mean to bring that up. <laughs> what? Oh, what's Steve there? Hey, he got stung by a stingray. Oh, that was a deadly one, though. Yeah, it was. We're talking about the average thing. <laughs> the average thing. Uh, I think a, a burn is tougher. It hot hurts iron, more? Yeah. A hot iron? Yeah, yeah. what would hurt more? But or stung like by a stingray. I don't, we like, we have nothing to compare it to. Like, yeah, I've no, I don't know what that feels like. I hope I never know what it feels like. I'm going to say stung by a stingray. You are correct. You are correct. Nice. Stingray is 30 on the DOL scale. A hot iron to the skin is 21 DOL. Oh, don't want to experience any. I don't want to either. All right. That's it for that one. Yeah. Um, I saw a series on TikTok. You saw a series on TikTok. We posted a video about it. Did we? About avoiding saying the same thing. Yes. It's so like I want to bring levels. it. I want to bring it into this podcast. We're on five levels. Mine's a little bit tougher than the one you gave me oh, um, okay. earlier in the game. Time. I have a few. If you I narrow, do a couple. I narrow down. Yeah. I mean, I have two here. All right. I have three. All right. We, we don't have to do all of them. But okay. We'll do you, like, how many do you want to do? Three. We'll do three. Let's do three. We'll for save the, the others. For I'll later. do two. You do one. Sure. Deal. Sure. Okay. Um, I got this idea from Nick Vogel. I just want to shout him out. Okay. Nick Vogel on on TikTok. He's a creator. Shout out. Maybe we'll collab with him. Do something with him. Potentially. Okay. Avoid saying the same thing as me. Mm. I want you to think of an African country. Okay. Any African country. (sighs) Think about it. Now, I'm in your head. Remember. Are you? I'm playing this game in your head. I'm inside your brain. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. (laughs) Tell me. I think we should say it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody commented and said you okay. should say it at the same time. So three, the countdown. three, two, one, Senegal. Oh, I thought you were going to say Togo. Togo. We did talk about I Togo a while to- ago on the podcast. Togo is in Africa. Are you asking or telling? It's in Africa. Africa? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. All right, um, I passed the first level. Yes, you passed the first level. Think of a playing card. Any playing card. Now, this would be like David Specific. Blaine. Specific. Yes, this okay. would be like David Blaine mind free. Okay, got it. Type stuff. I just got it right off the bat. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Yep. Three, two, one. Six Four of, of clubs. A ah. little off. A little off. Little there we off. go. All right. All right. We're Let's gonna do. get a little more specific. Okay. Okay. We're narrowing it down. Think of a Crayola crayon color. Now we're limiting to the twenty-four pack. I don't know all of the colors in there. Well, you got to pick one. Can I go look? <laughs> sure. Do you want me to not look at you looking at it? I don't want to see it. I don't want to see what you're looking at. You done? Yeah. It's a specific name. Yeah. Okay. Well, it depends. I don't know. It yeah, depends I got what it. you think. Okay, you ready? There's no way you're going to get this. Three, two, one. Red, Red orange. orange. Oh. <laughs> it's two colors in one. It's a close color, though. What'd Red you put? Or- Scarlet. I would Scarlet's know. like the classic crayon in that crayon box. Okay. Okay. I want you to pick a day of the week. You're on level four. This is really narrow. Level four. It down oh, here. we really, we really. I'm making it tough. Okay. Think of a day of the week. You ready? Yeah, I'm good. I feel good about this. Do you? Yes. Three, two, one, Saturday. Ah, oh, wow. You, yeah. You chose a great day. I know. I chose this day of the week. Uh-huh. That's what, what I did. Do, I, that's what I went with. If you uh, didn't know, it's Tuesday. You ready? This one's one and four. Okay. Season of the year. Level five, season of the year. I'm ready. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I'm so ready. Are you? <laughs> so ready. <laughs> Three, two, one. Winter. Uh, Boom, <laughs> he, he baby. Escaped it. Right. You escaped it. You, you call it autumn? Well. I, I was I hoping you, fall. I was hoping you were going to say fall, oh. and then we would have had this whole debate. Oh, I didn't, and I won. No. I was going to prompt you. To, that's a, good job. Good job. Thanks. All right, you want me to go? Sure. Go, and then I'll do the last one. Avoid saying the same thing as me. Play along. Level one, name any dessert. Any dessert. Any dessert. Any dessert. Let's get into it. How specific can I get? Not If you're thinking ice cream, don't go cookies and cream. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Hmm. Are you ready? No. Uh huh. Three, two, one. Ice Carrot cream. Cake. Oh, I thought <laughs> you were gonna double down. <laughs> I thought about doubling down on ice cream. I was like, oh, I'm gonna really trick him and fool him here. Carrot cake. Carrot gross. That's gross. Name any NFL team. Any NFL team. Anyone. Mm. Yep. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yes. Ready? Uh huh. Three, two, one. Jaguars. Carolina Panthers. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Panthers and Jaguars. And Jaguars. They're close. Both cats. We're getting there. Name any YouTuber. Anyone. Mm. 
Hmm. Are you ready? I got a lot of YouTubers out. Okay. There. Got a lot to choose from. Yeah, why not? Three, two, one. The makeshift project. Oh, <sighs> see, yeah, you said us. That was us. That, that's us if you didn't that's, know. That is us. <laughs> I thought about that too, but I'm in your head. Name any comedy actor. Mm. This is level four now. Two levels to go here. Got it. No way. No way. All right. I got it. Are you ready? Yes. I feel good about this. Do you? Three, two, one. Ben Bill Stiller. Murray. Oh. <laughs> started with a B. Started with a B. <laughs> started with a B. <laughs> this right. is fun. I like We're this. We're narrowing it down a little. I like this. Are you? Name any social media app. Oh. Now, I'm just, telling Let's just go. Just Let's just go. Okay. I feel like there's a few. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I knew. Oh, I knew it. Oh, baby. I was, I was going to say that. I was going to say that you know where I'm going to go I here. I knew you were going to say so that. I could have changed it, but I did it. Oh, Woo-hoo-hoo. Of course. Of course. It was always LinkedIn. That it was always good. LinkedIn. All right. One, one more. Good. One more. We got one more for you. Let's do it. Encore. I want an encore. 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 Everybody wants it. The people want it. They're going to get it. All <laughs> two of us. Encore. Or all 100 of you guys watching live. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 70, 80 no. people. Whoa. <laughs> Depends how good the thumbnail is. 150. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. Okay. I want you to think of any NBA player. Now, I want you to get real obscure. Uh, can we, like, are we limiting it to starters? Current? Do you want to be, st- no, I was just thinking anyone. Fine. We could go. <laughs> L- mm. You pick. It's your game. No, I just want anyone. I just want as All ran- time? As random as you could think. Okay. No, current. Current NBA player. Oh, current NBA player. Let me think for a second here. I'm feeling confident. All right. You ready? Whoa. Nice. Brian, if I get this, you're not going to get it. This is just so random. Okay. Three, two, one. Bruce, Bruce Brown. O'Neal. Oh, they were both Nets and they're on different teams now. Though. That's <laughs> I thought pretty you were going to go Bruce Brown. You love a Bruce Brown. I do love <laughs> Bruce Brown. I want we you- let him go. We should have signed him. An element. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Everything will be all right. <laughs> An element on the periodic table. Okay. Okay. You're yeah. thinking about it. I you feel like, like you're going to get me here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I For have, some reason. I have two choices. The second one, I'll save. Go with it. Go with the second I don't, choice? I don't care what you get. Okay. Three, two, one. Carbon. Einsteinium. Einsteinium? Mm, he's alive. <laughs> I thought you might have went argon. No. No. Einsteinium. Not an argon guy. Think of any shape. Any shape? Any shape. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. I feel pretty good about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Octagon. Rhombus. <laughs> the rhombus. The rhombus was a classic back in the day. <laughs> it really hit different. Him and the trapezoid. They it's used to have fun. a rivalry. <laughs> yeah? I think so. In what? In my head. <laughs> just in your head? It would just like... <laughs> it would always <laughs> clash heads. <laughs> think of a month of the year. A month of the a year. Month of any month of the year. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, I feel good. Do you? Uh, yeah, okay. pretty much. Three, two, one. September. November. Oh, Ooh, just really two months two, off. Two months, two months off there. What level is this? This is that was level four. This is five. Now we're on level five. This is for all this the is marbles level five. All here, the marbles. Folks. This is really narrowed down. All right, let's do it. One and two. Type of triangle. There's three, right? I think there's four, but I don't know the. I don't know. Oh, there's four. Y- yeah, you can name four. Okay. I think there's four that you... You're not going to name one. Well, one I got the, one three of, in my head. One so. of them I know you're not going to name. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go for it. Three, two, one. Scalene. Equilateral. Uh, yes! yes! <laughs> you're going to go scalene. Yes, 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 yes. Geometry lesson. Scalene, isosceles, isosceles, equilateral, and then the right triangle. Oh. It's a... But isn't that technically it could, an isosceles? It could be scalene or... Oh, yeah. I guess it could be. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. It could also be equilateral. No, no it, it can't, can't be. There's it only can't. three types. Those are the three types, but there's also a right triangle. It's like technically a type. Yeah, but then That's it's a when scalene you get to- or an isosceles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> well, should we do another one? I have one more. Or, no, or should we just no, move on? Let's move on. Should we? Let's, no, let's move should on. Should we? <laughs> no, let's move on. Let's move on. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> should we do another one? Um, oh, man. Okay, I just have a question for you. They ask me the question. What was the longest you've gone without a shower? Way too long. Yeah, I know. Way I'm too long. I'm kind of terrified for your answer. At least five days. Five days. Five days. I thought it was going to be longer, and I think it is. I think you're lying to me right no, now. No, I don't think it is. Why I'm would lying I be lying to me? Why would I Are be you lying, lying to me? I'm not lying yeah, to you. I guess you don't really lie. You know when it was. 
when it was when we went to firefly the music festival oh and we went and i didn't really shower either we got there on like what wednesday night yeah we went on, to a music festival and they didn't have showers we camped on the campground i mean i, I put like shampoo on like a what water about bottle. outside of a music festival background ah three days three days two really? and a half maybe four no like when would that happen <laughs> I'm just I don't know what happened. I don't know. I've definitely done three days. You used to shower. You used to not shower after your workouts. Uh, yeah. And I thought that was disturbing. I've been showering less frequently. I don't know what's going on. I just feel like I'm less running, frequently. I just feel like I'm running around and then I get home and I'm tired. And I'm just like, you know what? I can't do it. I don't have the energy. Your bed is probably. No, no, no. I change my sheets every two months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Set yourself up for failure here. I only have two pairs of sheets. My bed's not dirty. I don't shower not, and I don't wash no. my sheets. No, no, no. It's, no, it's just recently I haven't been showering as often. It's just been a thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You're just anti shower? You don't know. like wasting. It's, no, I'm not anti shower. You don't like wasting water. No, no, and you're, no I'm no. trying to help you. That's, you're, you're, it's not I'm true. I'm saying you're environment friendly. It's not true. I just, I've been. I've been running around. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff going on. Right. There's just a lot of things There's that are going on. A lot of things on. going on. Uh, and then sometimes, like if it's if it's the morning, and you wake up and shower the night before, then you don't shower that day. Then you wake up the next day. Do you you don't like showering in the morning? I enjoy showering. I do. In the morning I know because I feel refreshed. Right. I got a lot going on. I don't <laughs> like <laughs> two jobs. Yeah, two jobs. For two more days. Though. That's for two more days. Well, that's the thing is that like if we posted I, the we quit our job video on Zach was still in his job for another three days. So. Yeah. Well, I'm still I'm still there, which sucks. Still but there. it is what it is. Two more days. Oh, we have my going away happy hour tomorrow. Days. I'm so excited. Yeah, so that's excited. Exciting. You're yeah. going to get drunk. Maybe. And then on Who Friday, knows? on Thursday, you know what? So let me just this. That topic's over. Right? Yeah, that topic's okay. over. Okay. You can just I talk, just want to yeah. explain something to sure. people. This next two and a half weeks of my life are going to be hectic. Yeah, you're going to Spain. So tomorrow I have a going away happy hour. Yeah. Thursday I have um, a celebration for my last day at work. Okay. So I'm going with my friends going to play Sounds pool. like you're setting up Thursday. a bender. Yeah. So what? <laughs> tomorrow, forget it. Yeah. Thursday, forget it. Yeah. Friday is Friday. No, Friday is my girlfriend's match day. Oh, so you're and gonna then so I'm going to go out with her parents and then celebrate with her friends at nice. night. Nice. Saturday, I have to edit this podcast and the next podcast we film. It's a big work. And day. schedule everything for the time that I'm out because I'm going to Spain the next day for two straight weeks. Long vacation. And then we come back and it's full steam makeshift. I'll a be here. April. <laughs> Doing <laughs> nothing. Maybe no, I'm going to LA. I'm going to Rolling Loud on yeah. Thursday. There's a lot of stuff. So content. things are hectic. They're things happening. Are hectic. And then hopefully we come back, film a podcast, hopefully film a podcast in a cool location. Yeah. By this time, when this podcast drops, probably we will be either, prom we'll probably be promoting our full length video from Rolling Loud. So just uh, this time throwing week? a feeler out there. That's pretty cool. Potentially, hopefully. I like that. So be on the lookout for we'll that. We'll be doing a lot of, a lot of fun stuff. Um, How much one time are we at? We're at like 43 minutes. I have a question for you. This oh, <laughs> <It's> voice is <laughs> cracking. It's falling you. apart here. You ready? Here's, here's the question. There's some yeah. evidence supporting and everything. Okay. Is the younger sibling always the best athlete? Now, I know you're the older sibling in your... Yeah. You're the oldest sibling in your family. Yeah. How do you feel? <sighs> That's a good question. I back it up with evidence. I, I mean, you're it. the younger sibling and you're more athletic. Yes. Is that your evidence? No, no. I have like, I <laughs> no, have like, let me that. run you through real sure, quick. Before. Go for it. So, so wait, get, let me get the take first. Okay. Get the take. Take the take. <sighs> I don't know what my take is. Okay. <laughs> I th So I think, I think no, first of all, no, I don't think that's a thing. Okay. I think it's co totally random. I think that it doesn't have to play in factor at all. I would say me and my brother are comparable. Like we're the same level of, of athleticism. Yeah. I think. A I don't know. Give me the stats. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. First, there was a study. I don't have the source. A study showed an athletic advantage for the younger sibling due to a higher strive for competition. So think of all the times growing up that your brother was competing against you. Makes like, sense. and he's always like, you know, it's better so competition. So I trained him. Yes, you trained him. It's, so it's, it's, it's only my you. fault that he's more athletic than me, or is what you're saying? Pretty much. It's often present <laughs> in those who are younger siblings. They have a higher strive for competition. I named some athletes just to throw them out there. LaMelo Ball over Lonzo Ball. Fact, yes. Serena Williams is 15 months younger than Venus Williams. Okay, yeah. The dad called it. He said, I know Serena's going to be a better player. That's a Because she's younger and she's hungry for that. Yeah, that's a fact. Michael Jordan was the youngest of three siblings. Okay. 
So those are three examples right there. But then you have the other way around too, because you have Peyton who is better than Eli. Yeah. And then you got, whoa, whoa. Kidding. I knew you were going to say that. Kidding. I knew you were going to say that. He is. And then you got Steph Curry who's better than Seth Curry. By far. By far. By a lot. By a lot of far. But they also had a study where 700 pairs of brothers who played Major League Baseball, the younger brothers were two and a half times as likely as their older brothers to record superior career batting statistics. It's interesting. So the younger I mean, I like your uh, upper hand. I like your thought process here. It seems like it's like, yeah, like you're going to train your younger sibling. They're going to be playing with your friends. They yeah. played against me and you and yeah. like basketball and stuff. When they play against competition, their level, they're just naturally going to be better. Can I say my take on basketball? I think yeah. my brother's more athletic than me, but I think I'm more talented than him. Does that make sense? Uh, explain. Elaborate. Like I, ha- I have better, I have better like finesse with the basketball and with, I'm talking about basketball specifically right yeah, now yeah. because that's the most comparable. I, like I think it. that he's more athletic, like he's faster and quicker than me, but I I'm more skilled like handle-wise and like weaving through the lane. I think I'm better at that than him and he's like faster and quicker than You're me. You're like Luka Doncic, he's like Russell Westbrook. I honestly do think that I play like Luka just because I'm slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I make threes I from half court. I don't mind the comparison. That's pretty good. I like oh, yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, I have a crazy question. What's the crazy question? So I can't I have been, for this. I've been on this YouTube channel called Watch Data, and I love it. And I want You're to give addicted. them I want to give them credit because they have some fantastic uh, prompts and topics to talk about. How many of these would it take to kill you? So they went into like a lot of animals and other stuff like that. So I want to see how many you think it would take to kill you. Okay. And I have stats. I like it. Pigeons. Pigeons. Yeah. They're terrifying. The pigeons are nasty. In New York City, but I, maybe New York City pigeons are different, which I think they are. They don't move. They're you could, crazy. You could run right up to them and they don't move at all. I wonder if a New York City pigeon and like a Texas pigeon got in a fight. Well, who happened? would win? Who would win? Probably the New York pigeon, right? Probably, right? How Nasty. many would it take to kill you? Uh, Average pigeon. I would say like a hundred. That's where I would You go. think a hundred? A hundred of them, like attacking, pecking. I mean, maybe maybe I could take them, but 100. So the stat was 750. Yeah. Then you're dead. Yeah. That's like 100% chance of death, it's, I think. Yeah, whatever. What I'm basing it, it off of. <laughs> whatever it is. What about puppies? Puppies? Yeah. So like freshly born puppies, like a oh, month or two months old. Cuddly. Yeah. How cuddly. many would it take to murder you? What are we thinking here? I'm just trying to think if they would bite. I don't think they, they have fully developed try to bite. teeth. And then there, I think they do have teeth. I'm probably going to guess lower than all of these say. That's my prediction. Um, But I think I could take on like two, three hundred puppies. Yeah. I don't think they're going to damage me. They have nothing on me. Well, they got they have. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, 250. The stat was 400 puppies. Yeah. See, I'm. I see. That means I could take 250 on confidently. What about turtles? Turtles. Yeah, they got the shell. You can't can do they much damage. Even attack? I don't even think they can. What is it? Death I'm by not weight? sure. You could just <laughs> run away, probably, right? Uh, yeah. They're well, not at fast. one point they're going to be surrounding you, you know? Yeah. And do something. I don't know what they're going to do. But, a thousand? Uh, <laughs> the well, shell's the, hard to penetrate. Yeah, you're not so going to do much advantage. damage. Yeah. Uh, it was two thousand turtles would kill you. You know what I would love to do? <laughs> Fight a turtle? <laughs> just put two thousand turtles in a room and try and escape. <laughs> YouTube video. I don't think we could do it. I don't think we could do it. 2000's a lot. 2000 It would be a stacked. Lot. Yeah. Squirrels. Squirrels? Squirrels are low key really scary. Once, can't they have rabies? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they would do. That's what they would do to you. Scratch your face off. I hate squirrels. My dad hates them. I know he does. I'm going to say 100. No. 300. 300 squirrels? 300 squirrels. Well, 300 squirrels would kill you, but. It's 200 squirrels 200. would kill you. Oh, it's right in between. 200 squirrels. That's I mean, it's horrifying. It's, it's, they're terrifying. What about 100-year-olds? 100-year-olds? Yeah. How like many 100-year-olds? They, they don't have the muscle, the strength, the movement. They don't, but if they, pa- if they form a, an alliance and come together, Even and if they, they built, go, I'm going to attack Zach. If they built the wall, I'm not getting through it. I'm not getting through 20 of them, 30 of them. <laughs> it's a Let's lot go of, with 80. You were pretty damn close. Yeah. 75 100-year-olds would yeah. kill you. They're frail. They are frail. I don't know where they found these stats <laughs> from, know. but they found them somewhere. We don't, we don't know. What about monkeys? Monkeys? Oh, monkeys. Just an average Six. monkey. Six. They're way stronger than you think yeah, they are. Yeah, they're terrifying. Actually. Six. 
All animals are terrifying if they're angry at you. Any monkey, gorilla, ape, hundred year old, six. <laughs> You're pretty damn close again. Five. Five. Yeah. Five monkeys. That's Which means I could take on four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kangaroos. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, they're good boxers. Kangaroo Jack. Yeah, but did you see the video of the guy saving his dog? He kind of murked that did kangaroo. He? Yeah. Not athletic. He, he hooked the jet hang did kangaroo he? and the kangaroo ran away. Oh. Three. I two. Like they could kick. Yeah, two. Yeah, it's not the punching, it's the yeah, kick. It's the kick you have to be worried about. Two kangaroos would kill you. Oh, yeah. What about 10 year olds? Would they kill you, though? I think. Like, do they attack? Oh, no, I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Two, what? Two year olds? 10 year olds. A 10 year old. Oh, I feel like I could take on so many little kids. 10 year olds is like borderline. Yeah, like starting you're, to, you're yeah. almost a teenager at that point. Yeah. Like, you're starting to grow some muscles. They could. Probably 10. Their brain is almost like Ten? developed-ish. 10? 10? 12? What's your guess? 11. It would take 20 10-year-olds. 20? 20. Yeah, I played like basketball against 10-year-olds in like a camp. Like I helped out they're at a camp once. very hyper, I feel. Oh, they're so hyper. But I was able, I was dunking on them. Eight-foot rim. <laughs> that was, that was great. That was what about pigs? Pigs? I feel like pigs are faster than we feel. The warthogs are the scary ones. No, not warthogs. Not warthogs. Not warthogs. Don't. Wild pigs? We're just thinking pigs. Farm <clears> pig. <throat> Farm pig. That's it. Fine. By weight alone, they would crush me. <laughs> Four. Four. 22. 22? Yeah. I, I think you could... Know. You think? Mm. Make some bacon? Hammer some pigs. Make some ham? Yeah. Slice some ham? Has some pork roll. Pork roll. <laughs> all right. That's all I got with that. Do one more and then we'll... I have something for you. I would hope so. Let's <clears> get it. <throat> Where do you aim when you pee? We're finishing in the bathroom. Where we do you all, aim when you always... pee? I oh, know, Brian, I have a diagram. I have a diagram. Oh, do you I not want, want me to? Me. Well, you could tell me, and I'll like. I just want to know which section you're in. Okay, I won't tell you. Let me see the diagram. Well, there's there's nine of them. So now, we're looking at this one first. I personally think if this is situational based. Why is it situational based? Because if it's late at night, you're not. You don't want to make a lot of noise. Oh, 100 percent. Then I and go then, for the side of the bowl. I don't go for five. Five. That's no. I don't go for five. I feel That's like crazy. That might be optimal to for for peak quietness. You I go back one, two, up or a little five. bit, and I go one, it, two, or four. Because think one, two, or four. I go one, one, two, or four. One. Yeah. You pee against the back of the thing. You don't. Yeah. You don't. When trying to go silence. Yeah, I go one, two, or four. I, I feel like I do that all the time. I go either one, two, or four. All the time. times. Yeah. So you never hit the water. You're not hitting the water? Not really. Like, I'll choose to you don't just pee- to have some fun, but not <laughs> not really, no. I feel like this is all, like, fun-based. You- <laughs> no, I'm going one, two, <laughs> I'm going one, two, or four, or sometimes nine off the backboard. I was going to say bank shot. <laughs> bank bank shot. shot. Eight or six is when you're in a public restroom. Um, seven. <laughs> you do that? No, no, of course not. Um, I'm going three majority of the time. Oh, really? I go but, one majority of the but time. But I rotate. Or two. I rotate. Or four. Be- I rotate between three and four. I'll go three for a little bit, and then I'll move over to four. I'll let it ride down, and then I... Pl- I it's like uh, this website online described it as three would be the machine gun, and then four, two and four would be the silencer. You know what I do sometimes? Sometimes I start in... <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> what? What are you going to say? Sometimes I start in one or three, go up to one, and then I go around three. (laughs) (laughs) And I try not to hit the water. (laughs) You never do that. Now you're good. I bet you are. I'm going to try it. I like going like in between three and four. I feel like I'm like just, I don't want to go too high up on four, which is the right side of the toilet for the audio listeners, down into three, which is the water. Okay. I like it. Where do you aim when you pee in a urinal? I just go for the bottom, I think. You go for the bottom? Yeah, I, I think I just go straight ahead. I don't There's really a few. See, if it's a toilet, it's a different story because then you could have some fun with it. But the urinal, it's all business. <laughs> yeah, it's just get in, get out because you're standing next to guys. I don't want to stand next to you. I, I just pee straight ahead. I get it done. But there's this whole problem about the the um, oh, the, the rebound. Yeah, the sometimes splash. the splash is bad. Yeah, so so this article, this this visual that that's here, it says to stay dry, use these best practices huh. every time you're in the men's room. Well, now so do, do not that. use, don't pee in the tea. That's the golden rule. So root. I'm peeing in the wrong spot. Don't pee in the tea. Yes, yeah, so you're going 90 degrees, which actually has the most spray back. Damn. It says aim left or right of center and at a downward angle under 30 degrees to reduce the impact. Yeah, I feel like I do do that sometimes. So these green zones are the go safe zones. And then depending on your height, you could go the blue zone underneath. What if you're a short king? Yeah. But if you're going down yeah. towards where the actual sponge is, 
You know, that little thing? It's not always. It says stop. Don't do it. Don't I go do down that there. sometimes. I think it splashes back at you too. There's a lot oh, of yeah. a lot of splash going on. Well, I'm quick on my feet. And the optimal distance to stay away from the, the center of the urinal is seven four, feet. Four to eight inches. Seven feet's wrong. It says stand that far back and that'll be the mm. optimal and minimal splash back. And avoid aiming at the sitting water because it might be the bottom of the urinal to avoid significant I'd like splashing. To talk this to is on men's, he- men's health.com posted this. Yeah, but realistically, it was one guy that made the thing. and then Oh, that's the right way to use the urinal. Okay. So next time you're there, give some angle. Okay. Like you know it. my favorite place I've ever been? The urinal. Yes. But you know where? In a bathroom. I forget the name of the, Ed, Eddie Eddie B's. Eddie biggest gas station in um, oh, in the Bucky's? West Coast or something. No, I don't think it's Bucky's. Oh. It's like the biggest gas station on the West Coast. Brian, they had games in the urinals. That's I was sledding awesome. as a penguin, using so my cool. urinal to avoid the obstacles. Using my urinal, yeah, that is so cool. Oh, it was awesome. It was incredible. incredible. All right, podcast seventy in the books. That's it. That's a wrap for this Seven one. Seven claps for Podcast 70. Go like the video. Go comment on the video. Go subscribe. Yeah, comment on the video if you're still here. By Please. the time this releases, we will be full-time be, content creators. Yes, except I, I will be in Spain. We will be in Spain. So Brian will be the one live chatting. But when I get back and we get back in April, we're going to get after it. We got a whole lot of content. We got like, a whole. We got a, bought a whiteboard over there. You guys can't see it, but there's a lot of content ideas. It's on like it a cr- I don't think any two people create this much content solely by themselves. I was thinking that too. I, I don't think, I, I think, think we're the only people on we the planet. We are the highest volume two people. <laughs> and it's honor. just us. It is just us producing this stuff, but we do it for you guys because we love you. All right. Goodbye. That's a wrap. We'll see you in the next one.